I like to root for the little guy, but the last two Mazdas I've driven with their Sky Active technology had me longing for Zoom Zoom. But with the right engine and a terrific chassis, you can have fun and MPGs too. This is the all new Mazda 6. Mazda's brand name for their holistic approach to improving fuel efficiency is Sky Active. And my initial experiences with it in the CX-5 and Mazda 3 had me concerned about its effects. But like good companies do, Mazda listened to the criticism and brought a more powerful Sky Active 2.5 liter engine into the mix this year. And that's currently the sole engine available here on the Mazda 6. Impressive in a number of ways, this four cylinder mill generates 184 horsepower, 185 pound feet of torque, and when paired with the six speed automatic transmission, returns real world fuel economy of 26 MPG City 38 Highway. With a super efficient compression ratio of 13 to 1, and engineered to run knock free on 87 octane, the Mazda 6 leads the midsize MPG race of cars with similarly sized non turbocharged engines, and its power output is greater than all but those from Korea. The Mazda 6 has long been considered the driver's alternative in the midsize segment, and this one certainly maintains that status. With its quicker steering and light body, it provides a foundation for driving fun. And the suspension hits the sweet spot, feeling very BMW-like in its balance between handling and comfort. Focused on weight savings, this car tips the scales at a tidy 3,232 pounds, while its long wheelbase and low roof line contribute to the 6's agile nature. This range-topping Grand Touring model also comes standard with some serious road-hugging rubber from these 19-inch Dunlop SP Sport 5000 ultra-high-performance all-season tires. Mazda prides itself as being the car company for the enthusiast, and everything they put into the mix here is spot on. There's an undeniable driver connectedness that's addictive, and though the engine output isn't going to bowl you over, it astutely walks the line between amply energetic and gas savings. And the Sky Active Sport transmission with paddle shifters works immeasurably better here than with the 2-liter engine. Locked into the firm, supportive sport seats, and gripping the meaty leather-wrapped steering wheel, this is a car in which you instantly become comfortable, letting the Mazda Osmosis take over and fusing you with their hallmark Zoom Zoom feeling. The only demerit I give the sport interior is this small and cheap looking Navi unit, which draws your eyes away from an otherwise racy looking cockpit. With an as tested price of $31,690, including optional charges for the must have sole red paint and a package consisting of radar cruise control and forward obstruction warning, you've got to come stronger than with this TomTom -tom unit. Other notable tech features include blind spot monitoring, and smart city brake support, which uses laser sensors to help avoid or reduce the impact of a frontal collision. The rear seats sit low and have a bump in the headliner to take on six footers comfortably. And the trunk has a full pass through to the back, but at 14.8 cubic feet, it trends to the smaller side for the segment. It's also louder in here than I'm comfortable with at highway speeds. The car I would equate most to the Mazda 6 is the Ford Fusion in that they drive similarly and skew sportier. But even the handsome Fusion would have trouble stealing attention away from this brilliant design. It turned heads all week. Though Mazda will introduce a diesel option soon, the 6 cannot compete with the vast array of powertrain options offered by the others. No turbos, no hybrids, etc. But as long as you're comfortable with this one-trick pony configuration, the Mazda 6 Grand Touring is a desirable new offering and one that finally highlights the benefits of Sky Active. For Drive Time, I'm Steve Hammes.